Who is Jesus? That's a question that's been pondered for over 2000 years. He's a figure shrouded in mystery, a name that sparks intense emotions across the globe. But beyond the religious icon, beyond the stories whispered through time, there's a man, a real, historical person who walked the earth. Today, we're peeling back the layers, separating fact from fiction, to uncover the truth about Jesus. We'll be venturing back in time, exploring the world he lived in, and diving into the evidence that confirms his existence. So, buckle up, history buffs and truth seekers, because we're about to embark on a fascinating journey. Let's set the scene. Jesus was born in Judea, a Roman province, around 4 BC. It was a time of great change, the Roman Empire ruled with an iron fist, yet Jewish culture and traditions thrived. Jesus wasn't a king or a politician, he was most likely a carpenter, a working-class man familiar with the everyday struggles of his people. Luckily, we have historical records that mention Jesus. Roman historians like Tacitus and Suetonius acknowledge his existence, even though their accounts are brief. But the most extensive source of information comes from the New Testament, a collection of early Christian writings. Now, the New Testament is a religious text, so we have to be critical readers. But even with some bias, these writings offer valuable insights into Jesus' life, teachings, and the impact he had on his followers. Here, the Gospel of Mark tells us of his occupation, isn't this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? His sisters live right here in this village. Mark 6 3. Jesus wasn't your average teacher. He didn't lecture from a podium, he spoke in parables, using everyday stories to convey profound truths. He preached about love, forgiveness, compassion for the poor and marginalized. His message resonated with the people, offering hope and a sense of purpose in a world fraught with hardship. Jesus challenged the religious authorities of his time, questioning their rigid interpretations of religious law. He emphasized a personal relationship with God, one built on love and good deeds, rather than strict adherence to rituals. In the Gospel of Matthew, we hear Jesus say, You have heard that it was said, Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Matthew 5:43-44. The Gospels depict Jesus performing miracles, healing the sick, raising the dead, calming storms. These miraculous events are a core part of the Christian faith, but how do we interpret them from a historical perspective? Some believe these stories are symbolic, metaphors for Jesus' power to heal and bring hope. Others consider them literal events, signs of Jesus' divinity. Ultimately, whether you view them as miracles or powerful acts of compassion, they highlight Jesus' impact on the people he encountered. The Gospel of John recounts Jesus healing a paralyzed man. When Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in that condition for a long time, he asked him, Do you want to get well? Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me down to the pool when the water is stirred. While I am trying to get in, someone else goes down before me. Then Jesus said to him, Get up. Pick up your mat and walk. The man got up immediately, took up his mat and walked. That day was the Sabbath. John 5 6-8. These are just a few examples from the Gospels, but they paint a vivid picture of Jesus' ministry and the profound effect he had on those around him. Now, the Bible isn't the only source that points to Jesus' existence. Remember those Roman historians we mentioned earlier? Tacitus, writing around 116 AD, mentions the execution of Jesus by Pontius Pilate in his historical account, Annals. Similarly, Josephus, a first-century Jewish historian, refers to Jesus and his followers, the early Christians, in his work, Antiquities of the Jews. These writings come from outside the Christian tradition, offering independent verification of Jesus' existence within the Roman world. Additionally, archaeological discoveries continue to shed light on the world Jesus inhabited. Excavations in Judea have unearthed locations mentioned in the New Testament, like the Pool of Bethesda in Jerusalem, where Jesus healed the paralytic man we just heard about. So, the evidence is clear, Jesus was a real person who walked the earth in Roman-occupied Judea. But his significance extends far beyond historical facts. His teachings on love, forgiveness, and compassion continue to inspire millions around the world. The religion founded on his life, Christianity, has shaped cultures, influenced laws, and offered solace and hope for centuries. Whether you view Jesus as a historical figure, a religious leader, or the Son of God, his impact on humanity is undeniable. The question of faith is a personal journey, but understanding the historical context and the evidence surrounding Jesus' life provides a deeper appreciation for this complex and influential figure. The Word Made Flesh 
The Bible tells a story that goes beyond human history. The Gospel of John opens with a profound statement, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made, without Him nothing was made that has been made. John 1 1 1-3. This Word is identified as Jesus. The passage suggests Jesus existed before creation itself, coexisting with God the Father. This concept, central to Christian theology, is known as the pre-existence of Christ. Jesus wasn't simply a prophet or a teacher, he was the divine word made flesh, God entering the human experience. We can find hints of Jesus' divinity even in the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible that predates Jesus' arrival. Many Christians see prophecies throughout the Old Testament that foreshadow the coming of the Messiah, a savior figure. For example, Isaiah speaks of a suffering servant who will bear the sins of humanity. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, the punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. Isaiah 53 5. This prophecy resonates with the Christian belief in Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. The Gospels depict Jesus making claims about his own divinity. He declares, I and the Father are one, John 10 30, a statement that outraged Jewish authorities who believed in one God. Jesus also forgives sins, an act traditionally reserved for God alone, Mark 2 5 7. Beyond his words, Jesus exhibits characteristics associated with God. He has power over nature, calming storms and walking on water, Mark 4 35-41, Matthew 14 22-33. He possesses knowledge of the future, John 13 38. These abilities point to Jesus' divine nature. Now, the concept of Jesus being both fully God and fully human is a complex one. Christians believe in the Trinity, a doctrine stating that God exists as three distinct persons, Father, Son, Jesus, and Holy Spirit. It's a concept that has been debated by theologians for centuries, and attempting to fully grasp it can be challenging. However, the core belief is that Jesus, while existing as a separate person from God the Father, shares the same divine essence. They are one God in three persons, a mystery that faith seeks to comprehend. Whether you view Jesus as a historical figure, a prophet, or the Son of God is a personal choice. The historical evidence points to a real person who lived a remarkable life. But for billions of Christians worldwide, Jesus' divinity is a core tenet of their faith. His teachings offer hope, comfort, and a path to a meaningful life. His sacrifice on the cross, according to Christian belief, provides redemption from sin. The idea of a loving God who walked among us resonates deeply with many. Throughout our exploration of Jesus, we've unraveled layers of history, theology, and faith. But there's one more detail that holds significance, the very name Jesus. Jesus' name is a direct translation of the Hebrew name Yeshua, which itself is a shortened form of Yahashua. This name might sound familiar, it's the same name as Joshua, the biblical figure who led the Israelites into the Promised Land. The meaning of Yeshua is rooted in the Hebrew verb Yasha, which means to rescue, to deliver, or to save. So, inherent in Jesus' very name is the message that lies at the heart of Christianity, salvation. Whether you believe Jesus is a historical figure, a prophet, or the Son of God, his legacy endures. His teachings on love, compassion, forgiveness, and helping those in need continue to inspire millions across the globe. The concept of salvation through Jesus' sacrifice offers hope and solace to many. His message of love and acceptance continues to be a powerful force in the world. Jesus' impact stretches far beyond the walls of a church. His teachings on love, compassion, and helping the less fortunate have inspired countless social movements and acts of kindness throughout history. From the establishment of hospitals and charities to the fight for social justice and equality, Jesus' message continues to ripple outwards, shaping the world in profound ways. But Jesus' influence isn't just about outward actions. For Christians, following Jesus is a way of life. Core of Christian faith lies in emulating Jesus' teachings, loving your neighbor as yourself, forgiving others, and showing compassion for those in need. This doesn't mean blind obedience to a set of rules. It's about a continuous journey of growth, striving to live a life that reflects Jesus' values. Christians find guidance in the Bible, prayer, and fellowship with other believers. So, what does it mean to be a Christian in the 21st century? It's about putting faith into action. Whether it's volunteering at a local soup kitchen, offering a helping hand to a neighbor, or simply showing kindness to a stranger, Christians strive to embody Jesus' message in their daily lives. The world can be a complex place, filled with challenges and struggles. But Jesus' teachings offer a guiding light, 
a call to love one another and work towards a more just and compassionate world. Our exploration of Jesus may be nearing its end, but the journey of faith is a lifelong one. Whether you're a lifelong Christian, someone curious about the religion, or simply seeking meaning in the world, Jesus' message offers a wealth of wisdom and inspiration. We encourage you to continue exploring, asking questions, and deepening your understanding. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the button below the video. God bless you.